So this lake, it's been here right behind my house this entire time. And I've never been here until today. I thought, you know, this would be a great place to kind of shoot my first video and well, it's, it's not as pretty as I thought it was gonna be. Hey, what's up guys? I don't have much of, a, of an intro to do, so I'm just gonna kind of introduce myself a little bit and talk about what this video is gonna be about and what the future of my channel is gonna be also be about. So to start off, my name is Zach. I live in Miami, Florida, and I'm aspiring to be a race car driver. More specifically, at least for the time being, a go-kart driver. A little bit of backstory as to why I'm pursuing racing. Uh, back when I was about three or four years old, my dad kind of got me into racing. I mean, I always grew up with, with racing, uh, or you know, watching and going to racing events like you know, NASCAR and stuff, but ever since I was a little kid, I, I've always loved racing, and I always told myself, that one day I'm going to become a race car driver. But I didn't really know what to do. As a, you know, I'm only four years old, what do I know? So for years and years I would say, I'm gonna be a race car driver, I'm gonna be a race car driver. When I grow up, I wanna be a race car driver. But it hasn't happened yet. And when I got into my teens, I kind of just gave up on that because I didn't really know where to start. But now as I'm a little bit older and I've, I've done a lot of research and I have access to the internet unlike I did, you know, 10, 15 years ago, that that dream of mine is now becoming more of a of a possibility, of, of a reality. So I didn't do much up until I was about, I guess, uh, 16 years old, or maybe 17. And then I found out that a friend of mine that I went to high school with, he races go-karts. And that kind of reignited my passion for wanting to pursue racing again, now that I'm a little bit older. Now, I might be a little too late uh, to the game, but I, I do feel like, like no matter how late you are in, in pursuing a passion of yours, you should just do it anyway because it's what's gonna make you happy in the long run. So fast forward a, a few years now that, I, now that I have a part-time job and stuff, I decided that I'm gonna start saving up my money and put that towards buying a go-kart and buying all the other necessary things that I need such as gear like, like my suit, uh, the gloves, the shoes, the helmet, all that stuff, as well as paying for track fees, tires, uh, fuel, and whatever else, come, oh, mechanics as well. And so far it's been about three years since I started doing that, since I started saving up my money, and I'm really, really close now to actually starting it. I'm actually about to, well, I've already bought my, my gear. I just need to figure out the whole karting situation such as am I gonna buy a, a, a new go-kart am I gonna buy a used go-kart or am I just gonna start renting for now until I save up more money to uh, eventually buy my own go-kart but I think I've come to the conclusion that I should just rent for now I can save a lot of money instead of dishing out you know five six seven thousand dollars at the you know at the get-go I can slowly spend money for the more important things and only compete if I can afford it for that, you know, for, for that particular weekend, for example. So it won't be something that I, that's gonna be like a constant thing where I'm going like every weekend or every other weekend. It might be once a month, it might be once every other month. That really depends on, on budget. So it, it's, it, it's an interesting situation for sure because because I don't come from a wealthy background, so a lot of a lot of the work that I'm going to be doing in terms of how I'm going to be able to afford all of this stuff is uh, just choosing the right moments when to spend my money and when I'm and when to uh, you know compete in a race. So what are my long-term goals for this? Well, my long-term goals are that I just want to race, get better at, at being a race car driver, and eventually move up into higher forms of motorsport. 
outside of karting, above karting, like getting into actual cars or getting into, let's say, formula spec cars. Actually, that, that is the ultimate goal for me, to be in Formula One. I know that that's a very difficult, um, it's a very difficult series to get in, but hopefully with enough practice, with enough discipline, with a dramatic increase of my, my driving ability, <laughs> I hope to get there one day. Now that's more of like a, like a five year plan for me. I'm not saying that that's exactly how it's gonna go and I'm not being overconfident or, or anything like that saying that, oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna be in Formula One in the next five years. That's not gonna happen. It, it's, it happens however it happens. I just have to prove myself to, to I don't know, teams, I guess. Prove myself to the, to the teams, prove myself to any potential scouts that I'm good enough to be, or to, to move up from, from the current category that I'm in. So th those are my long-term goals. My short-term goals, however, are a little bit more reasonable. Now, it's 2021, it's been a weird year for everything. So I'm hoping that, that by, let's say, May, if not by the end of April, I, I can actually start competing in something to kind of uh, start building up my experience and see and see where I land in terms of my skill compared to other people that are that I'm racing in you know the same class. So for go karting, my plan is to compete in the Briggs LO206 senior class. It's the most affordable and probably one of the bigger classes that I've seen. It's probably one of the more competitive uh, categories, at least here where I live because of the, the go-kart races that I've been to, for the most part, the uh, the Briggs, that Briggs class, whether it's the senior or the masters, both of them are just full of like, you know, 20 plus racers, well, especially the senior one. But yeah, there are about 20, 25 drivers average per race that I've, that I've seen. So that'll be the class that I'll be focused on. Now, I hope that, that whenever I do compete, that I am, of course, fast enough that I can keep up with the guys that have been doing this for years and years and sort of make a name for myself. I have driven that that kind of go-kart before actually. Um, only once though. It was more of a like a like a, an arrive and drive kind of thing. You show up, you pay whatever team an X amount of money and you can do like 10 minute sessions in their go-karts around the track all day if you wanted to. So I did that. I've done it twice, but the last time that I did it, the only time that I've ever driven in a Briggs was that last time that I went, and that was about two years ago now. So it's it's been a while, but that's that's something that I plan on doing in the next few weeks. Which brings me to the next kind of section of the video, which is what do I plan on doing up until I actually start competing. So I have a couple of ideas laid out that I'll, I'll make into videos, so that way it's you know, more content, where I'm gonna contact uh, a team that I've, that I've known for about three or four years now, tell them that, that I wanna do an arrive and drive in the Briggs, so that way I can kind of get my foot in the door and reacclimatize myself with driving that go-kart on that track. And by the way, if I haven't already mentioned, which I don't think I did, uh, the track that I'm referring to, since I live in Miami, the closest track to me is the go-kart track outside of the Homestead Miami Speedway, which I think the official name is the AMR Motorplex. I think, yeah. So that's my local track. That's the track that I've done, or that I've been to all the events, or most of the events. I've been to, or I've done the arrive and drives a couple of times. So I'm hoping to go back there in the next less than three weeks. It depends on when I get my gear because I, I just recently ordered it and it said it would be here in about two, three weeks, but I have to plan the actual arrive and drive after I get my stuff. But I want it to be soon enough that I can hurry up and get out there and start practicing. So those will be the next couple of videos or maybe not the next, like the very next couple of videos I do have uh, a couple of other videos that I, I kind of want to do before that. So I might I might do like a more of an in-depth introduction of myself and my my uh, my history with racing and my and why I love 
racing so much. I might do that. I might do a Q&A. That depends, I guess, on, on how many people actually watch this video. And if I gain enough, uh, you know, subscribers, if my, if my viewership is decent enough, I don't know, that, that really depends. But those are those are a couple of plans that, that I wanna, or a couple of planned videos that I wanna do. Hopefully I can actually do them because I need content. I need content up until at, at least I start actually competing. So, so that's that. And now I guess it's kind of a good time to move on to the next part of the video because this is kind of, this is kind of an interesting section to talk about, I guess. Uh, why have I decided to start vlogging? Well, I've got two reasons. The first reason is because I know that this is going to be an expensive sport. So just like I mentioned earlier, racing is expensive. I have to pick and choose when to actually spend money on racing. So I'm hoping, and this is like complete transparency, I'm like, this is 100% brutal honesty, all, you know, putting it out there. I hope that I can make some money off of doing YouTube. You know, that, that, that's as straightforward as I can be. A lot of people make, you know, a little bit of money on the side through YouTube. A lot of people, and by a lot of people, I mean like a lot of people. So I figured why, why not jump on that bandwagon and do something that I love and also putting it onto a platform that I can hope to make some money. So I'm hoping that, that doing this, hoping that I get enough subscribers, hoping that I get enough viewership, I can get to the point where I can monetize my videos and then use that money to put towards my racing. Aside from making my money from just ad revenue, I'm hoping to get sponsorships or or just like paid promotions uh, for my videos, and that'll really help with with you know the expenses that I that I plan on dishing out over the next you know few months, a couple years, however long it takes before I make enough money that I don't need to worry about let's say. Uh, my part-time job and I'm not saying that I'm gonna quit my part-time job I have to rely on my part-time job for now but I'm I'm just saying that I hope that I get to the point hopefully by the end of the year that I can just rely on doing YouTube to support racing while my part-time or full-time job is for just myself like for my other for my personal expenses rather than than anything that has to do with racing so that was reason number one. Reason number two is more for me and for you guys. Vlogging is a nice way for, for someone like me to document experiences, document the journey, document specifically my career or my, you know, my potential career. I wanna document everything, see where I've started, see where I'm going and see the amount of progress I've made, see how much I've grown since, since this video. Think of it as kind of a journal, a, a visual, journal where I can look back and say wow I can't believe that this is where I started I can't believe that this video was actually this bad I'm not expecting this video to be like incredibly great I'm I'm you know I'm just making it and however it turns out is however it turns out and I'm editing I'll edit it put it on YouTube and that's that but that, that that could be one of the things that I can look back and say wow this video sucked major ass and now i'm at a point where wow like my videos are look they look way better than than they were like back then or wow i've grown so much as as a as a race car driver i've grown so much as as a person even who i mean i feel like i'm a i'm a decent person now but who knows maybe maybe this kind of experience will make me appreciate other things more because this is something that I've I've been passionate about for for a long time I'm, I'm 23 years old and for I don't know 16 or 17 years this has been my passion and I'm so glad that I'm finally at this point where it seems like a real possibility so again seeing how how far I've come seeing where I was and where I'm going will be you guys can follow along with me and watch me grow watch me progress watch me make a career out of out of 
my biggest passion. I know a lot of that didn't make sense. That was all kind of jumbled up, but who cares? This is my first video. I'm not making it perfect. I'm just making it good enough. And that's, that's all I care about. Later on, I'll worry about uh, making it better, but right now I don't care. I'm just kind of speaking off the top of my head. Whatever thoughts I have right now, I'm, I'm just gonna say it and then I'll get better at this. this is, I've never spoken in front of a camera like this and I've never put anything on YouTube. Well, I, well, that's kind of wrong, but I've never done this or something like this and put it on YouTube. So this will be uh, something that I can adjust to, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something that I just have to get used to, but yeah. Okay, I think I'm just gonna cut off the video right there because I feel like a lot of the information that came afterwards was kind of redundant. Like there wasn't really a need to put that stuff there. And then on top of that, I also did the sign off at the end, but since I'm doing this part, I might as well just do it here. So the first thing that I wanna talk about real quick is the status of the stuff that I ordered. Originally when I ordered the stuff, it said that it would arrive in about a week and a half. But the thing is my stuff didn't arrive when, when it said that it would arrive. So I called customer service and they said that it would take about three weeks, well, three weeks from the, from the day that I called because my stuff was kind of on back order. So I'm not looking at being able to do the arrive and drive like I said I would, until the end of March. And as you saw by the timestamp down here at the bottom left corner, I'm, I'm in the first week of March. So it'll be now like just over two weeks before I get my stuff and before I can even record the arrive and drive that I wanted to do. So, so it, this is kind of being delayed a lot more than I initially thought, but it's still coming. So once this video goes up, Hopefully that video, the arrive and drive, the first one at least, that will be up within a week after this is uploaded. So if you're seeing this, whatever date it was when this was published, within that week, that'll be the next video. That'll be the arrive and drive. So look forward to that because I sure as hell am looking forward to that because I, I just want it to happen already, you know? So, so but we're, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. <laughs> Slowly but surely, we're, we're getting there. So with both of those things being said and done, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it, it wasn't, you know, wow, great video, uh, it's, it's amazing. I hope that it was interesting enough that you guys watched until the very end, until this part now, because I want to thank you guys for doing that. And I hope that it's enough to get you guys to consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more content from me in the future. And please hit that like button, leave a comment down in the comment section below. And that's kind of where I can... You know, talk with you guys, chat with you guys, get to know you guys uh, after every video. And of course, please consider sharing this video with friends and family that you think might enjoy this content. You know, anything that, if you know any friends and family that like racing stuff, then maybe this could be the channel for them. That'll really help my channel grow and, and I want to achieve those goals of, of being able to uh, you know, monetize my videos and stuff. Hopefully very soon, hopefully within a few months I can achieve that, but that won't be possible without you guys out there sharing and liking and subscribing and helping me you know get up there you know so thank you guys for watching hopefully the next video will be up very soon after this one comes out and then and then I, we can kind of just go from there so wherever in the world you guys might be watching from i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and i will see you guys in the next video hopefully very soon all right have a good one.